Now, before we actually get to Newton's law of gravity, let's take a big picture, right? There are, as far as the current theory of physics goes, four, uh, one, two, three, four forces in the universe. Every force that you have ever talked about, either in a physics class or even just in everyday life, can be explained by one of the four fundamental forces of the universe. Today we're talking about gravity, which is one of the four, but there are three others that I'm going to touch on because I want you to have the big picture. And the big picture thing that I want you to pull away from this is that gravity, the one that you feel like you have the most experience with, is actually the weakest of all of the other uh, forces that we know about in the universe. And not just a little bit, gravity is millions and millions and millions of times weaker than any other force in nature. And that's something that surprises a lot of people when you hear it because we, you know, we're stuck to the ground, we feel gravity and so on. And we're going to talk a lot about that and convince you that in fact it's not just a little bit weaker or maybe a million times weaker. Gravity is many, many, many tens of millions of times weaker than any of the fundamental uh, additional forces. So before we jump into uh, Newton's law of gravitation, which I promise we're going to get to very soon, I want to give you the big picture. There are four fundamental forces of nature. Of course, there could be another theory that comes along tomorrow, tomorrow and adds another force to this list, but right now, as far as we know, everything in the entire universe can be explained by one of these four forces. First, we have the strong nuclear force. I'm going to talk about it in just a second, but it has to do with the nucleus of atoms. Next, we have the weak nuclear force. All right, so these are both nuclear forces. Next, we have the electromagnetic force. Right? This is electricity and magnetism, which you typically learn as two different forces, but actually we know electricity or electric force and magnetic force is really part of a single force called electromagnetic force. And then we have wimpy little gravity at the bottom, right? And when I say it's weaker, it is many, many, many tens of millions of times weaker. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.